Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Oracle Linux Server Edition 10.0 on VirtualBox. First download by going to oracle.com. Then click on products. Then scroll down, see here we have the Linux, click on it. Then click on download Oracle Linux. Then select the Oracle installation media for 64 and ARM. See here we have the four types of ISO images. Full ISO, UK, Boot ISO, Boot ISO, Source ISO. Go through each definition and download the Oracle Linux ISO image. See the latest release is 10.0. I am going to download this version. That is DVD ISO. Click on it to download. Go to downloads. See download started and its size is about 8 GB. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded it. In your case wait until download completes. Once download completes then open VirtualBox. If you want to install VirtualBox then go through the video description and install it. Then click on new or machine and select new both as then provide the name Rakhil 10 S means server edition VMO name can be anything then select the folder to store this virtual machine files and folders see this is the default location if you want some other location click on drop down and select other then select the path here you have the enough space and store this one Now select the downloaded ISV image. Click on drop down, select other, then see I have the Oracle Linux 10.0. Select it. See once you select it, type change it to Linux, subtype to Oracle Linux and original is Oracle Linux 64 bit. Then select the skip unattended installation. Then go to hardware. I'm giving memory as 4 gigabytes. Number of CPU equals to Hard disk I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then click on finish. Still, if you want to the settings of this virtual machine, select from this list and click on settings. Or right click and select settings. Or go to machine and select settings. All three options are same. Okay. The only option that I want to change is go to settings, then system, then select pointing device to USB tablet. Then click on OK. Then click on start. See, use up and down arrows and select the first one that is install Oracle Linux 10.0 and hit enter. See, if cursor is grayed out, then just press right control key from your keyboard to release the cursor. Now select the language and click on continue. See here, the beginning station has been grayed out. Why? Because the options that are marked with red color must be configured. So, select the destination. I am okay with the default one. Root account. I want to enable. So, set the password. If you want to allow root SSH, login with password, select it, create user account, add administrative privileges to this user account, require a password to use this account, then provide the password, then confirm the same, then click on done. Then the main option, see, if you just click on, by default it will install server with UI, but if you want to install only server, Go to software selection. See here we have the this base environment. Server with UI only server. Okay. So based on these options, the op additional software options will be changed. Whatever you want, you can select like DNS name or anything. Okay. I'm going to select only server. But for a server with UI, you can search for my YouTube channel how to install Oracle Linux standard zero. Okay. Then select only server and click on done. But if Again, I am telling if you want GUI environment, you have to select this server with GUI. It is up to you. Okay, so select server, click on done. Then, if you want to change the time and date, see here we have the time zone and city. And automatic date and time or manual date and time. Then click on done. Then, if you are okay with all the settings, then click on begin installation. See, installation has been started. This will take time. I am going to pause this video. At the end, it will ask us to reboot the system. Then, we will reboot the system and we will perform the post installation steps. In the meantime, please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. See, installation is completed. Click on reboot system. See, we have installed Oracle Linux Server 10.0. And this is the kernel version number. Now, provide the username and password that we have provided. See, we have successfully logged in. Now, the first step after connecting to Oracle Linux Server 10.0 is sudo 
sudo dnf update absent absent sudo dnf upgrade hit enter write the password of sudo user hit enter see it is, it is going to upgrade these packages type and hit enter okay this will take time okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install oracle linux server version 10.0 on virtual box okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you